So if you're in the market for an RV and the kitchen seems to be the center point around your purchase, but yet you still struggle to find you know, counter space with your traditional rear living floor plan, the new Avalanche 338GK for Grand Kitchen may be one to consider. Four total slides, 38 feet long, and right now I have all the slides closed in to show you what it looks like going down the road. And for all of my viewers that I ask, will you have access to the refrigerator or possibly the restroom to avoid letting any of the slides out when you're just making a quick stop? You definitely do. But we're gonna start on the inside of the coach going over its different features before hitting outside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek of both of the awnings on the outside of Avalanche 338 GK. And I'm just assuming the GK is standing for Grand Kitchen because of all of this counter space provided inside of this rear living floor plan. Four total slides with three of them found in the back of the coach. One in your kitchen, one in your living room, and then one massive 18 foot slide found over here in your dining room slash entertainment slide. And not to be exact, but I stepped it off from the sofa to the bar stools. You've got right at nine feet of space. And then from the bar stools back to that big, huge floor to ceiling pantry, you're right at 10 feet. Solid surface countertops with two additional bar stools. And there is an accent light found underneath there as well. I like when they carry over the darker colors from the slide boxes into some of the decor, such as this island, as well as the furniture found in the back. Floor to ceiling pantry with a glass accent door and the light up there is a motion detecting light, but right now I just left it on. Plenty of stuff, space for all of your stuff. If maybe you're having longer extended stays. Four additional pull out drawers. And this is what I call a coffee prep station. Solid surface countertops continued over with a plastic backsplash all the way from the countertop up to the cabinet. Glass accent on some of your cabinet doors with soft closed latches. Stainless steel appliances found all the way throughout the avalanche from the stainless steel drop-in sink, the oven, even this 18 cubic foot French style Samsung refrigerator. Freezer on the bottom and there is an ice maker built in as well, but you can turn the water line off if you don't want that connected with a double door refrigerator up on the top. And there's a built in inverter just for this refrigerator to keep all of your goods cold while going up and down the road. Standard size Furion oven with a matching pull out drawer on the bottom with about a 21 inch insignia convection microwave. And here's a shot of the oven. Maybe enough room for a couple pans of biscuits. And there's that matching drawer on the bottom. Plenty of storage space in this coach. And this right here is gonna be a place for your trash can. Keeping it tucked nicely out of the way. Four more additional pull-out drawers found over there. And this is just one big, big cabinet. Plenty of space, ready a second pantry. And again, soft closed latches. Stainless steel drop-in sink with that high-rise faucet and check out all this counter space. Continuing over here, plus all the way back, maybe for another set of guests to sit or from, for some prepping space. I can see me up there trying to help my wife when it comes to dinner, keeping separate from her, but still being able to give her a hand. Six foot 10 slide boxes on this coach. This model has a legless table with four chairs which is really nice for taller guys. When you try to sit down, you don't bump your knees. And you do have some additional storage found underneath the table, plus the extension with the Alifa here. Frameless windows in this model, but they are breeze windows. It will open up just by simply twisting the knob and it's still sealed from the factory. There we go. Might have to edit that out. I'm not sure if that's gonna make the video. Balance on both sides of the window and you're gonna have one black roller shade and the windows already have an 80% tint on them as well no carpet inside of the coach but what you have is a seamed linoleum if to carry the linoleum over to the slide which gives it that appearance to just one long continuous wood type floor all the way in the back of the coach additional storage found over the sofa and let's talk some of the cabinetry right now all your cabinet doors and your pull-out drawers are solid wood. 
Coming back to the back sleeper sofa, and you have wireless chargers on both sides. Let's see if I can get that to work. There we go. 110 outlets with pull again pull down blackout shades with balance on both sides of the windows. Thomas Paine Collection furniture. These two over here are going to be manual recliners. LED lights found in them as well. These are heated and massage. You have some additional storage space found in there as well. I really like the bar stools though. That would probably honestly be my place to sit. And you do have another breeze window on this island as well. When you're in transit, the two bar stools are taken from this area here and placed and tied down over here by the table. So these chairs will all be on one side and the bar stools will be stored right over here. Coming up to the stairwell, all of the controls to operate the slide operations are going to be found inside this nice little organized cubby. Awning switches for both of your awnings and one switch for each one of your slides. All your light switches and so forth. Two different air conditioners. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the heating and air. Well, here's one of the thermostats control, the 15K unit found up here in the living area. Two whisper quiet air units. 15k found here you've got a 13.5 in the bedroom but this coach is also prepped to possibly receive a third one that orange sticker right there identifies that it's already pre-wired from the factory but coming right up to the bedroom area you're gonna have a 70 by 80 king size bed in the bedroom slide and check out the amount of changing room you've got plenty of room to move about you have breeze windows on both sides of the bed with the balance led reading lights found up there above kind of a raised headboard shot up of some of that material kind of looks like maybe a false leather your shelving you're gonna have one little shelf over here and there and you do have a 12 volt outlet tucked under there as well and there is over here you've got maybe about 12 inches of space with usb chargers and 110 outlets found in there sorry about the light it's I probably should invest in maybe a light to attach to my gopro but while i'm down here let me go ahead and point out the storage under the bed trimmed out for all of your blankets and more stuff closet in the front of the gooseneck area the washer and dryer connections those could be provided for you here at camper kingdom or if you don't want it you can just utilize the hanging rod that is provided but if you went with a stackable we removed the shelf and the rod to allow room for that Here's a shot of your closet. Plenty of space. You can almost walk through here. At the foot of the bed, you're going to have four more pull-out drawers, breeze window, and there's your sticker to identify a television mounting bracket. Maybe room for about a 32-inch TV could be mounted on the wall there. Coming around to the bathroom area, your second thermostat found on the wall here for the second air for the bedroom. Heading into the bathroom, you're going to have a porcelain foot flush toilet with a decent amount of changing room once you exit the shower. Pressed membrane countertop with a medicine cabinet also provided. And your linen closet on the left is going to be about 5 inches wide, but possibly 18 inches deep. And as you can tell, they carried over those slam latches into the bathroom area. One piece fiberglass shower. And I'm going to try to spin around to give you a better view of this shower. Ceiling height in the coach up here in the gooseneck area of around 80 inches but you've got close to a five inch step up to get into this one piece shower additional seating for the ladies and there's a shot of that porcelain foot flush toilet coming from the other angle with the pass through right into your bedroom so i've gone ahead and let out the sleeper sofa to show you how much walk around space you're possibly going to have as well as to tell you you still have access to one of the two theater seats if someone's spending the night with you in relation to size the pull out sofa is not quite as big as a king size bed but definitely bigger than a queen and at date and time I'm making a video, MSRP on this coach of $85,810. But coming at you right at 38 feet long with four total slides, an outdoor kitchen, two awnings, is this 2022 Keystone Avalanche model 338 GK. And like I said, I'm not certain if the GK does stand for Grand Kitchen. That's just be assuming because of all the counter space. Dry weight as this model currently sits at 12,820 pounds. And speaking of weight, you're in the bed of your truck. King pin weight of 2,700 pounds. So make sure you're within the load and tow capacity of your vehicle before purchasing this model.
trail air suspension kingpin does have the two inch rubber bushing to prevent it from jerking when you're starting and stopping we call it chucking it really does a great job of that if you're expecting to build a building for this coach go ahead and expect to build about a 14 foot door from the ground to the highest point right at 13 feet four inches tall 100 inches wide and it's level from a six point hydraulic leveling system there's a shot of the front legs there's two in the middle as well as two in the rear and the controls to operate those are found right here in the front within direct line of sight of the kingpin just by simply pressing up a button the coach will level itself or you can just raise and lower the front off the truck water management system all the water lines are going to come up through the floor right in this area going inside to this compartment the sewer connections all the handles to pull them are found here inside of this water management area black tank flush everything nicely organized easy to read both of the propane bottles two 30 pound bottles found here on the side which is nice that we are not bouncing back and forth between different sides to change those out and here's a shot of the front storage compartments which does house the hydraulic reservoir there coming around to the band side of the coach you got two different awnings this one's right at 17 feet and that one back there is 11 frameless windows on the coach two whisper quiet air conditioning units Coleman Mach is the brand for those steps on this model are solid step they're fully adjustable on the bottom they flip up and inside the door when you're not utilizing them or excuse me when you're in transportation bigger grab handle and they extend it a little bit lower to assist here's a shot of some of the pass through storage over 200 square feet of storage space on the bottom there's a shot of some of the construction the baggage doors are slam baggage you've got this plastic clip to hold it in place about an inch and a half thick good solid structure good solid sound when they close so this coach is blindside camera prep for three different cameras this marker light here is prepped to receive one you keep that in mind there's an additional one on the other side but coming around to the back here outdoor kitchen pretty cool little camp kitchen has the two eye burner that pulls out high point refrigerator this is not a 12 volt refrigerator so you must be plugged into shore power in order for this to work tv connections more additional storage still have those slam soft clothes latches out here as well let me pull out this and show you this as well two eye burner hooks directly to the propane coming around to the back of the coach fully walkable roof with a rear mounted ladder this coach has a two inch receiver low capacity on the two inch receiver right at 300 pounds so it's not for pulling an additional trailer or vehicle and that black dot right up there that's gonna be your third blind side camera prep we can provide those for you here at camper kingdom power connections found on the back of the coach and you're gonna have about a 25 to 30 foot power cord to go with it four total slides and three of the four are hydraulic these two plus the one in the main living area the bigger ones are hydraulic and this one up here is gonna be an electric motor Lippert component sewer connections on the model you've only gonna have one found right over here oh you're not fumbling around with multiple sewer connections one sewer connection there and all the pull handles are pointed out inside of the water management this model has about a 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater for pricing and availability or to view more photos i'll leave a link in the description down below leave me a comment or questions down in the comment section of the video leave me a thumbs up it definitely does help like subscribe come see us